patients with primary liver cancer, hepatocellular carcinoma, is run in two races. Race against the cancer progression and race against possible upcoming liver failure, which is a result of cirrhosis and progression of cancer. So I want to uh, tell you some symptoms that suggest of liver failure. And if those symptoms start to show up, contact your physician and uh, who will manage the symptoms of the liver failure. Liver is a factory. It makes protein. And when the liver is not working very well, the albumin, which is the main protein liver makes, the level gets decreased. And patient may develop ascites, like their belly become distended with fluids and the legs become swollen. And the management is usually we try to give patient diuretics, fluid pill, to get rid of the, the swell and get rid of flu fluids. We also arrange patients for paracentesis draining of the fluids from the belly. And so other uh, symptoms of liver failure is patient turn yellow because the bilirubin goes up. And that can make patient skin itching. And uh, when that occurs, please alert your physician. And your physician may want to do some imaging to find out why the bilirubin is elevated. The other main important symptom is something called hepatic encephalopathy. So our liver is a factory to get rid of toxins. When we eat, the food in the, in the gut gets worked on by the bacteria that makes this toxin called ammonium. The ammonium usually travels to the liver, gets captured by the liver, the liver uses it for other purposes. When the liver is not working very well, the ammonia travels to the brain, make people sluggish, make people forgetful, and sometimes they can be confused. We do have treatment for that. So if patients start to have those symptoms, we usually treat them with lactulose, which is a, a sweet syrup that binds to the ammonia, try to get, get rid of the ammonia. Or we give patients a type of antibiotics called rifaximin, and that will um, control the bacteria in the gut to decrease the production of the ammonia.